Do you have ongoing liver issues? Maybe you're noticing you have elevation in your liver enzymes. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at high liver enzyme causes that maybe you haven't considered. We're going to look at some things from the environment that could be toxic to your body and your liver, some digestive things that can cause high liver enzymes, and some other things surrounding high liver enzyme causes that you should consider. Again, my name is Dr. Taranella. And if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know, I make these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis, make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this information on nutrition, health, hormones, and overall optimization of your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's check out this topic, high liver enzyme causes. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the high liver enzyme causes that maybe you haven't considered. Now, of course, there's the obvious high liver enzyme causes like viral hepatitis, A, B, C, Alcohol consumption and drinking excess alcohol will definitely raise those liver enzymes. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Some medications like statins and Tylenol and even other viral infections like Epstein-Barr and acute viral infections can raise your liver enzymes. These are all some of the more well-known or common causes of high liver enzymes. Even gallbladder issues when there's gallstones can cause high liver enzymes. But what do you do when these causes have been ruled out? Are there perhaps other hidden or lesser known causes of elevated liver enzymes? Yes, there definitely are. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. And of course, there are individual variations in how our liver processes these toxins. And of course, we do live in a more toxic rhythm world from pesticides, heavy metals, and other pollutants. All these things can overburden our bodies. So let's look at a couple of the lesser known high liver enzyme causes. The first high liver enzyme cause we want to look at is mycotoxins. Mycotoxins are going to be circulating in our body when we have an exposure to mold and is one of the reasons why high liver enzymes can be present. And sometimes people don't think about this, but it's especially going to occur in people that have an acute exposure or current exposure going on. So it could be going on for years, actually, and you just don't know it. Of course, you're going to have other symptoms, too, in most cases. But mold toxicity and mycotoxins are definitely problematic for our bodies. It can be really toxic and cause high liver enzymes. Usually it's going to occur in people that live in damp climates, but can even occur in places like Arizona when there's ongoing water damage that isn't taken care of. Those mycotoxins can just be circulating in your house or in the environment, causing lots of problems to not only your liver, but other parts of your body as well. Heavy metals like arsenic, lead, mercury, and other heavy metals are going to be common in people that are actively mining and they get particleized. They can become airborne and you inhale them. They can also get on your hands or parts of your skin and penetrate through your body that way. Of course, people that have well water are also going to be more commonly exposed to heavy metals or other pollutants in their water. But it doesn't have to be people with well water. Obviously, there's instances of lead pipes that can definitely lead to leaching of that lead into the water supply, causing all kinds of problems, not just with your liver, but other parts of your body as well. So if you do have well water or know of, of lead pipes that are feeding your water supply, it's important to get your water checked for these contaminations. Pesticides and insecticides are another possible high liver enzyme cause. And it's going to be more common in someone that actively uses these chemicals and sprays on a regular basis, maybe as part of their job, or it could just be an acute exposure where you were doing some project and maybe suddenly have high liver enzymes from that. 
And of course, just like with any toxin in any part of our bodies, there's individual variation in how our bodies make the enzymes that break down and eliminate these toxins. So in this case, with pesticides and insecticides, there's a particular genetic alteration called the PON1, P-O-N-1. And if you have homozygous alteration in specific parts of that gene, you're going to be more susceptible or have more problems eliminating these particular products that can lead to high liver enzymes when you have both high exposure and poor elimination. Dysbiosis in your digestive tract basically refers to an imbalance in the good versus bad bacteria that's creating a problem and can be another high liver enzyme cause that maybe you haven't thought about. Things like small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or small intestinal fungal overgrowth are two common reasons that I see people's liver enzymes are high before we treat that and then they come down afterwards. Basically what's happening in cases of dysbiosis is the microbes are fermenting lots of food and when they do that, they produce toxins that get dumped into our bloodstream and the liver has to process all that because it does go straight to the liver right after the digestive tract. So in processing all those toxins can lead to elevation in your liver enzymes. So there you go. Those are some additional high liver enzyme causes for you to think about. Now, of course, just because you have these problems going on does not mean you're going to get high liver enzymes. And in the case that you do have high liver enzymes, these aren't always going to be the causes. There's even other causes that I didn't mention here. There's the more obvious causes that I've discussed in other videos. So you can check those out if that's of interest to you. I always suggest ruling those out first because those are going to be more black and white and straightforward in terms of diagnosing and eliminating those problems. As with anything like this, always check with your doctor, make sure they're ruling out the most obvious causes, and then you can go into some of these more lesser known causes, see if you can get tested for these as well. So how'd I do? Did that help you better understand some other high liver enzyme causes that maybe you weren't thinking about? Hopefully it does. If you do have questions about this, drop it in the comment section. Happy to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.